A spade has many uses and consequently different names. However, despite the name, form or use it goes by, here on The Advocate, we call it by its name, a spade. Welcome to another No Holds Bad edition of your favorite program on Plus TV Africa, The Advocate. My advocacy today is on the multifaceted and dynamic issues surrounding migration. In what he calls a thought that could save lives, Omoni gives his opinion on waste disposal with a little bit of biology. Should you be monogamous with a chain or just own your own polygyny? Comfort breaks it down for us. Kunle is going to read out 10 commandments of being a political aspirant. And finally, Ejemai talks about better education. Sit back. The panelists are here to present your Sunday dose of provoking thoughts after this break. The many faces of migration. Every year, many Nigerian migrants and refugees make the difficult decision to leave their families behind and embark on dangerous and sometimes treacherous journeys through land and sea. And then the headlines and news captions read as, as follows. Greece drafts new legislation to speed up migrant de deportations. Over 80 migrants found hiding in trucks. About 73 irregular migrants arrested in Turkey. Over 90 irregular migrants rescued in Libya, and so on and so forth. The EU Commission seeks faster deportation of migrants. Irregular migration brought me nothing but despair, says an Eritrean migrant. And you find my, these headlines go on in different forms. Sometimes you see Nigerian migrant returns after risking everything for a better life. Or you see thousands of African migrants crying for help from different parts of Africa and having forced to return to their homes after failing. And again, sometimes you see things that are really like, even the animals are not even the conditions we live in now. From, from young children who have actually embarked on this journey and have dreamt of a happy life in Europe. But then, for a lot of them, their hopes for a better life has faded. I constantly felt like a guest with no hope, says A, a migrant who traveled irregularly. Not enough food, bathrooms, or healthcare services, says a Nigerian returnee from Libya who's warning other Nigerians against irregular migration. And in the words of another migrant, cautioning other Nigerians against embarking on irregular migration to Libya, you say, the cost of living is much higher than you can imagine. And thousands of Nigerian irregular migrants who travel through Libya each year with the aim of reaching Europe eventually just may never achieve that goal. It was the toughest journey one could ever have, says a Nigerian returning. Those who go regularly too don't necessarily have a bed of roses. You're a stranger in another's country, a hustle to get jobs that citizens may also want, the re-education to fit in, what of the culture shock, and an alienation from family and a support system. The many faces of migration. But what is migration in itself? Simply put, migration is movement from one place to the other. And it's as old as human beings. It is, an, it is not a new phenomenon, so why is global migration taking a front burner role today? Maybe because for a country like Nigeria, the push-pull factors are interesting. On one hand, we are dealing with a massive brain drain of competent citizens, yet on the other hand, we are also seeing an influx of other citizens coming to explore our country and harness its economic value. But the issues that surround migration are multifaceted and dynamic. And while I may have a right to migrate, the question becomes, what about the place I'm going to? What value am I bringing there? And is it enough to know that a country has a working system and I want to just get in there? Now, so many Nigerians in their quest for greener pastures have chosen to get to Europe by all means, and most have opted for the Libya Mediterranean route. For hearing stories of victory from yesteryears by the brothers or sisters who have successfully crossed over. However, what many don't hear are the stories of missing relatives or the odious torture stories on the journey. Issues such as a lack of good job opportunities within the country has pushed a lot of people to seek work abroad and the same sense of despondency is discouraging migrants from considering the return to their home countries. In pursuing better jobs and economic opportunities, migrants often end up in situations of trafficking, modern day slavery and irregular migrant status. 
Vulnerabilities begin at the earliest stages of migration planning and recruitment in origin countries, including deception and exorbitant fee charging. Are many people aware that people from certain countries can't get asylum status readily due to their country of origin? An example would be Nigeria. And not many Nigerians do realize that Nigeria is not classified as a country that would grant you the ability to get asylum status. Would we as a people actually leave our country if the infrastructure was good? If quality of life is assured and electricity can be had, what of jobs or an enabling environment for business and income generation? There may be a glimmer of hope in the myriad of interventions now coming up though through international agencies in collaboration with the federal government. But how soon, how well, and what will really, when will this happen? The question though is, is this enough for a teeming population? What more can be done or are we all going to run away? To go is hard, to stay is difficult. Which way Nigeria? But as I often say, we move because we must keep hope alive. If you must migrate, adopt safe migration options. Oh. So, mm. uh, my, my view is this. Migration, whether legal or illegal, is expensive. Mm. And I feel at times that some of the people that have attempted to leave this country could have done better with the resources they pulled together to leave than going through that very uh, difficult experience. And I know that especially those that um, go through Libya, at the end of the day, it's all, all bad tales for them. And one other thing that I've also found over time is that um, the stories you hear will only be stories of successes. People will not tell you what they went through, how bad and difficult it was. And I think that also encourages people to want to reach out without doing enough research. I'm thinking, you know, that it's time to leave Nigeria. Let me migrate. Let me leave too, you know. I'd really? Never, I'd really? Never, really? I'd never thought about it. I'd never. I'd always, you know, been one person that believed no matter how bad it is, we're going to remain, you know, in, in, in this country. That had been me. But when I now started thinking of what it would take, this is to legally migrate. Oh, mm. I don't have energy to start entering boats or crossing the Sahara <laughs> and all that. And I realized, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that, write an exam to speak English. Oh, that I, they say I have to write an exam, you know, all that. I say, you know what, if I live, well, now that I'm a queen in my country, and hmm. I go now, I don't even know what I'm going to go and do there. Is it to wash toilet yeah. or whatever? I said, mm -mm, let me just stay here. So this is even me talking from the perspective of somebody who thought of legal migration and see all the wahala. Mm -hmm. Then you decide you want to ride the camel's back, go through the sandstorms, with enter the boot of a car, be cramped. And as you know, he said, the monies that have to go into it, if you had deployed it here, you probably would have started a small industry. There was the story of that woman. She, she became famous because I think she had been rescued or so. She, had, she, was, a, she was in Calabar. She had um, a small business. And she used the fact that she had a small business to go and borrow either 400 or 600 K to embark on a trip to Libya to go to Europe. Nobody sent, nobody told her now she had to come back. So she now came back after going through that horror and still was telling us on the news that she now still had the, the bill, the loan that oh, she had borrowed yeah, to, yeah, to pay that. Back. She still had to liquidate uh, that. I, yes, she yes, still had to liquidate that. I don't want to, to sound callous. We, we should be realistic. But honestly... Illegal migration is not the way. I honestly don't feel sorry for them. I'm sorry. Um, if we come back to our country, yes, it's hard, it's difficult and all that. But you know what? It's still our country. And for some funny reason, Nigeria just has this tick about it that all you need is either the right moment, the right place, the right person, the right idea. And for what it is worth, you can actually create something despite all our issues. I mean, I had to come to that realization despite all our issues. So um, my own advocacy on your behalf is <laughs> say no to illegal migration. Say no to illegal <laughs> migration. So, 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 so for me, it's, it's been maybe because I work in the governance sector and I just look at it like, okay, it's hard to legally migrate. I'm not a nomad, though I'm slim. 
So I'm not going to go through those horrors. No, thank you. And then I just looked at it. I'm in governor's space. Ah, in two or three years, my friends will become governors. And in 10 years, my friends will be the president. <laughs> ah, it's now you want me to jack Are you okay? <laughs> I didn't go since. It's now you want me to leave. No, because it's about to get better. Not like I'm, I'm corrupt or anything. Ah, yeah, well. You know what we mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So um, looking at it, you ask yourself the real questions. Like she, she uh, confirmed mentioned. For you to even go abroad, you're asked to write an exam in English. I'm a book 40, write exam again. For what now? I've written enough, for me, I feel I've written enough exams in my lifetime. I don't want to write one more, not one more. And the fact I speak English, and I have to write to, sp uh, to speak English in another country, that already tells me how the country will look at me when I start working in that country. It just eventually looks like that for me. So I already feel they don't want us here. They don't want us. It's better to sit down here and just work for our country generally. Mm. Well, I don't have so much to say on legal migration. I have absolutely no idea about that. But like Comfort um, said, prior to now, I was mm. totally comfortable with Nigeria. Yeah. I travel almost every summer with my family. Um, I've progressed in the workplace. There's really no need to leave Nigeria. But unfortunately, I'm now on that train of migration. I'm actually even closer to it than you would ever imagine. Oh, wow. And why? My husband came to me last year about this time and he brought up the subject and I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> I'm almost management I'm management position in public sector. I'm a director in my private in my teaching institution center. I own my own business. I'm doing bloody well. Why would mm. I want to do mm. that kind of thing? And he made a very solid point that I cannot but agree with him. Mm. We have a special son. Mm. And Nigeria has nothing to offer this mm. boy. Oh, and so okay. yes, the migration suddenly at Did almost 40, team. came to my table and I had to write that exam and I aced that exam. And so now I am on that path. And I, right now, this week, I've been going from places to places saying my goodbyes mm. and but telling them that I'm not going on a permanent basis. I'm oh, available wow. to serve. Remember me, just give me a call. I'm just around the turn. I have to do this for my children. Now, you see, now that brings me to the final part of what I was talking about in my advocacy, that what is the solution? We need to find how we're going to get the infrastructure and the system to work. Because half of us, in the, um, all of us in this room talking right now, do not fall into the category of the teeming population who see it as big. But then anyway... We will probably have to continue the conversation on migration over and over and keep thinking of solutions and ways forward. But then, our money is next after this break.